why I did this was I needed a way to get into my computer from work um, because I didn't have access to things that I needed um, at work due to firewalls etc so previously I was using logmein.com um, which uh, went by the wayside a, a few years back I think and it was a nominal fee subscription and you were able to um, remote in and wirelessly control etc etc um, this app um, I discovered by doing a Google search so let's go here um, where's my so what I did was um, basically searched for um, best app to you know remote in kind of thing and this is what came up for the iPhone iPad screens for for Mac OS um, and I believe it also works for other computers um, you know Windows based as well so it's got a number of modes dark mode which is good um, you can connect from anywhere basically um, multiple displays for support I have two two displays so it's kind of nice um, you know you can do um, save screens to group things uh, curtain mode to hide the um, progress while you know you're not away or excuse me you're away and uh, remoting in um, etc etc so it's a nice product um, what I did was I ended up going to the App Store first and um, basically got the um, screens iOS um, and downloaded it and um, it's secure apparently uh, password protected etc etc and so um, after I downloaded it um, obviously you have to install something on your computer which I did and so let's go to our display and once it's installed um, basically it's to this uh, your toolbar it's got all these other things um, you can have multiple IDs obviously you can you know, set your preferences um, you know things like this um, the advanced stuff um, for further settings and um, basically the initial setup was quite simple you just do this go through the steps set up a password um, and what I had problems with was this um, the initial computer con configuration I have a Wow subscription and um, what happened was I was um, using the Aris um, modem slash router and I connected a wire, uh, Orbi uh, mesh um, Wi-Fi um, to it and used that as my network um, which I you know, logged in and um, the double net configuration um, did not allow this to run obviously so I had to put the Aris um, router on bridge mode and work just fine after that so checking status now screen is running so that's not a big deal all right so now that we got that running on the computer um, I can show this to you on my phone um, I'm sorry I, have, I don't have enough tech yet to do this but this is what it looks like on the phone there's my screen so all I have to do is tap on that and um, it's connecting to my desktop um, and currently downloading and um, basically what it's going to show is going to show my current display um, this on my phone which I'm going to switch back to the camera and show you that this in fact is what we have is my on my iPhone we have my display number one so the other thing too is I can switch over to other things by just clicking something um, disconnect etc etc and there's a select display and I can do that or enable curtain mode um, things like that all right so now that it's running you can basically control your computer use things etc etc from remote um, worked out just fine um, I think it's a nice product I've been using it for less than a week and it's working out really well for us or for me um, again I can set up other configurations for our passwords for my rest of my family so that they can do this if they want to um, and it'd be nice uh, maybe you know again if you only have an iPad out there you just log in and use this as a computer so you can do things so 
that's a good review for this uh, product. 20 bucks gets you going. Um, I have a Mac Mini 20, 2014 edition. It's on the fritz. I had to uh, reinstall Catalina and it started to work really fine. Um, also, my uh, Time Machine hard drive went down, so I got a new one and it works just great now. So, hope this helps for anyone looking at this product. Uh, so far, I'm a fan. All right, have a good one.